Strasbourg, I got lucky. The driver was going to Skrimmick, a small town not far away from Strasbourg, and when I told the driver where I was going, I couldn't tell, but he suddenly started talking. He was middle-aged, with a haggard face and a dark red birthmark on his scar at his right temple, and his black hair was carefully painted and combed in strands. He stared at the road in concentration. What is it you want to understand? That people who are out of fashion, or love, or hate, or for honor or revenge, that you understand? Sounded as if he was being a little ironic, but maybe it was just the tone of the voice and the choice of words. You also understand that people murder for money, or power, but the people who were murdered in the camps hadn't done anything to the individual who murdered them. Is that what you want to say? Do you mean that there is no reason for hate? I didn't want to nod again. What he said was true, but not the way he said it. There was no war, and no reason for hatred, but executioners don't hate the people they execute, and they execute them all the same. And you think that I'm talking about order and obedience, that the guard in the camp were under orders and they had to obey. <laughs> An executioner is not under orders. He's doing his orders. He doesn't hate the people he executes. He's not killing them because they're his way of threatening. Was it you? We stood on the left. <laughs>